four really fun looks, actually more than four looks, but four different hair pieces that you can pick up today. My friend Christina is here with us as hey well. Everybody. Professional How's hairdresser. I mean, you to the stars, everything. You're a you're busy girl. Been around the block a few times. Been around the block <laughs> a few times. Well, I'm super excited that you're here today, Christina. You're gonna take us through um, a couple of really fun, fresh looks, including the ponytail that I had. But we're gonna start off with our Beauty IQ Steel, yep. which is this cool little angled short cut. But before we do that, I know that uh, if you're wondering, you know, what is hairdo? It's all these different fun hair pieces that allow you to make changes to your hair without making any permanent changes. Get ready quicker. Like this look today, seriously, five minutes to get this look. All right, but in order to do that, um, mm -hmm. Christina's gonna take us through step by step how we pin up our hair. So if we want to throw on a wig or a hair piece, this gets us in the right uh, frame of mind, right? Exactly, okay. and I, I love what you say about, you know, taking a few minutes and really getting into beauty and a lot of girls think that you know if I'm gonna get into beauty and I want to look beautiful I've got to put a lot of time in and a lot of effort in and I'm gonna need a lot of product and so we're here to show you that actually less is more it shouldn't take you very long to get beautiful all you need to do is learn the right tips and tricks so we're gonna take you through a few things we have some hair pieces we have some we have a wig for you if you've never tried that get on that bandwagon they're so fun quick easy way to change up your look can be really fun and exciting, but if you've never worn one worn before, what it can be is a little sort of daunting and you're like, oh my God, I don't know if I can figure that out. I don't know if I know how to wear one. I know my girlfriends are wearing them, but I'm just not handy with my hair. I'm gonna take you step by step through how to get that done. And the first thing you're gonna need is a few bobby pins. It's actually super easy. Lots of people think like, oh, well, you know, to wrap your hair for a wig is elaborate, the way they do on Broadway or for the movies, and with, like tons of pins and talent. You don't have to have any of those. <laughs> you have, you, you need have absolutely no talent, no talent, whatsoever. talent to get this done. Okay, <laughs> so what you want to do is can so you show us from the yeah, side? We'll show you from the side. Okay, I'm gonna start all over. So slow down, grab your pins, follow <laughs> along with me. What you want to do is kind of get your hair off your face. That's the first thing you want to do. You don't want any of your hair kind of creeping out, mixing with the style. Okay? Do you do you recommend that when you put it back like that, then you spray it with hairspray or anything like that? You know, that's an interesting thing. You can absolutely do that. I started with some texture spray on my hair because my hair can be pretty slippery and you don't want it slipping around. We do, although, include wig caps and like 50% of the women I talk to like them, 50% don't. I'm a not like kind of girl, but um, you know, we'll show you some girls that do. So what you want to do and what I'm doing here is just dividing my hair down the middle. So if your hair is pretty short, you can kind of crisscross them along like this and start to pin down right about here. But because my hair is long, I'm gonna kind of give it a little twirl just to keep it together and make sure none of those layers are coming apart and bring it around the side of my head. Basically, I'm getting the hair out of the way. And however you wanna do that is absolutely fine. You don't have to do it exactly the way that I do it. What you don't wanna do is create any weird bumpy areas. Okay. So no like putting it in a ponytail and giving up and just leaving all the hair oh, at the back. That's yeah, because then you're gonna have a little, it, like a little You're gonna fun. have a lot of stuff yeah. happening, <laughs> stuff you don't want, right? So you kind of just like, here, I'll turn yes, it that you, way. Yeah, you're doing great. You could just twist and stuff. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was perfect. You did like a perfect little pirouette did as I you twisted that? your hair. Yeah. I'm actually um, going to start doing ballet and hair at the same time. <laughs> I just decided. So, okay, it. so what you want to do is like make sure it's out of the way. It doesn't have to be perfect because frankly, it's going to be like tucked away. And so this is a really cute like, um, uh, what's the uh, the Beckham? the Beckham Victoria? Yes, Victoria. I love her. So, okay, so this is basically like her signature style, right? Uh huh. And if you try to cut that into your hair, Nine out of 10 times it doesn't work because you don't have the right texture, texture for it. right, yeah. So You know what, I'm glad you brought that up because I do feel like a lot of times we look at you know certain celebrities and we say, oh, I like that haircut, but maybe my hair isn't the same texture, it isn't the same style, maybe the shape of my face isn't the same as theirs. Would you say as professional that tends to be an I, issue? I actually disagree with you. You're, you have the exact same shape face as Victoria Beckham. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, so, so it would work out for you if you wanted to cut your hair into that style. But a lot of girls just don't have even enough hair to work it's a with. Thought. You know? This is a thought. Yeah, although we love your long hair. Well, you know, this is your hair oh, today. Oh no, you're kidding. Yeah, no, this, this is not my hair today. This okay. is hairdo hair, but I love this. It might be mine after the, the texture show. is amazing. You want to just it. keep touching it and touching it and no. touching it because it feels so 100% natural and healthy, actually. You know, because um, 
Yeah, there you go. Oh, 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 I can oh. see your hair this, peeking through. Yeah, I, I now know say, what your original length is. This there is we go. my length, You've you guys. You've been exposed. <laughs> okay, so here, um, back to Back to wigs because we haven't gotten to ponytail pieces yet. <laughs> okay, we're sorry, gonna talk we're jumping about, ahead. We're, we're, jumping gonna, we're jumping ahead and we really have to stay, <laughs> you know, on target here. People are gonna be very confused. They're right. using their bobby pins in their like <laughs> in their ponytail. ponytails and things are gonna go backwards. <laughs> okay, so you've got your hair wrapped, you've decided on whether or not you like a wig cap, and then you kind of dive in just like a swing, like a, you know, like a swim cap. Just basically like that. So everything looks a little crazy right now, right? And it's like not working out. There's little things that you want to do. Like you're going to find these ear tabs. They're on either side. They're going to help you find middle. You want to take your hair and align it with the line of the wig right there. And then what I like to do is give it like a really big shake. And it kind of just styles itself like right into place. You don't really have to do much to it. And so, <gasps> that's so cute. Love. <laughs> and then and you don't have to sit there. Five with, minutes. I, I'm going to stop looking at you. Hold on. You do not have to sit there with the blow dryer, <laughs> flat iron, six tons of product, 45 minutes, and then you go into the humidity and you're like, my hair doesn't look like what I walked out of the house looking like. And you're all upset and it's a terrible experience. So the next time you decide to do your hair, you just throw it in a ponytail and give up. Well, the other That's thing what is, wigs are for. What if you're trying to maybe not use as many heat tools on your hair? I will say today, we didn't use any heat on my hair. And that's gonna yeah. save it over time too, of right? Course. It's a nice, fun, easy way to change up the look. How long did that take you? It took you less than five minutes. I really slowed it down, because guys, I can get this done in 30 seconds. <laughs> and if you practice at home like two or three times, you'll get it done in 30 seconds too. So why is that important? When you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh my God, I overslept my alarm clock. I have a meeting. I'm supposed to pull it together and look like a human being. And right now I don't look human. You can throw one of these on. Get out the door, put your outfit on, and everything's perfect. Yeah, I love it. Sorry, I was blow I was blowing kisses to some people <laughs> in the studio. Elise is uh, loving herself in the ponytail. She cannot focus. I was blowing focus kisses. Focus on the order, no. There were people, well, I'll just tell you. I'll just tell you because we're all friends here. Jillian from Laura Geller's team was walking by because she likes it. I didn't it. see her, where she's, is she? She's right there. And so Hi. I was blowing her kisses. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to Christina. <laughs> she's coming on in the nine o'clock hour, so. <laughs> Love right. Laura Geller. I like love Laura Geller. I know stuff. so much. I love fun, her. Right? She's the nicest person ever. Yeah, truly, really. Yeah. Um, a lot of love in the chat for you, saying that this looks so. Are they good on you? Who, who loves me? Lots is of it hearts. Jennifer? Is it Christine? Who is it from our very long Let's see. Uh, Jennifer, Brandon's Jennifer, girlfriend. What do you think? Brand um, <sighs> <laughs> Brandon, well, Brandon's girlfriend uses Brandon's account, so we call it Brandon's Oh, okay, girlfriend. all right, I was just yeah. sure. That was like, it didn't, it didn't. Uh... Susan likes it. Okay, so uh -huh. here's, okay, so like bedhead, right? My before picture looks like bedhead. <laughs> and it just like looks undone and probably not great for the office and not to be taken seriously. But if I really want to put, you know, a, a more sophisticated look together or something that's chic. And sometimes long hair doesn't work with every outfit. So you... Oh, here's my after. But look at this, Here you didn't is. even have to get a haircut. Put together, no I didn't. So now you and can I'm like, And I love the way it moves too. So it's right. not like, because have you ever, you've seen stiff wigs before. They've turned, stiff wigs have turned me off of wigs for a decade. I was like, I'll never touch that. I will never put it in my hair, it's not for me. But yeah. now it's like, it moves. There's like all the different dimension and color. So here's your before picture. Where am I, am I do you want it's, my back? No, you're good, you're perfect. Okay. You stay right there, here's your before. And now here's her after. Okay. Look how all her hair just so easily. So, right, so maybe up. you have like a beautiful collared shirt that you really kind of want to, um, you know, feature and you have that long hair and how many, you know, ways are you going to put that hair up into a bun before everybody's sick and tired of it? Right. And how many times have you wanted to cut your hair but you really want both options. Yeah, so. or the thing is like maybe you're just ready for that big change but then you get a little bit of cold feet with the whole commitment issue so now it's like the easiest way ever. So it looks very realistic. Um, here you go, here's the super cute cut. Lots of different colors for you to choose from too. And you know what, will you take us through how these how these are made with the colors because that looks so realistic. Okay, so that's the thing, right? So when people talk about wigs, um, I mean, I was traumatized from like 15 years ago when they were made so poorly and everybody that wore a wig looked like they were wearing a rug on their head and it was not friendly and it was just not nice. 
So the reason why the hairdo wigs look so believable, it's not because I, you know, I have a trick to putting it on, they look amazing on everybody that wears them, is for a few reasons, and color is such an important part of that. So each shade has seven to 11 different colors in it, and that creates for those natural highs and lows that you're seeing in natural color. We also, um, for the blondes, and if we could kind of come over here and take a look at our blonde, our beautiful blonde model over here. The reason why that's so believable, the reason why you're looking at this and you're saying absolutely that she grew it, is because it has this rooted base color, right? So it feels like the hair is actually growing. Then you have seven to 11 different variations of blondes within it. And the reason why hairdo wigs are so, you know, sort of loved by everybody is because even things like having the highlights closer around the face to create a little bit more brightness up in here and then it gets a little darker can I turn you mm -hmm. or you're not gonna hit the table or okay there we go <laughs> and then you know kind of having that the darker shades all through the back it's it's really hard to find you're really not getting that with that kind of attention to detail with yeah, other brands. Definitely. Now we did um, kind of scroll those shades pretty quickly at the bottom of your screen there, um, but you can mm -hmm. take a deeper dive into those shades on beautyiq.com. And if you're wondering how to shop with us, that's how you shop with us. You go to beautyiq.com or you call the number that's on your screen there. Or if you're on Facebook, you can just um, click the link right above the live stream there and that will take you directly to Beauty IQ where you can um, place an order. And here's the thing, this is our Beauty IQ seal. So this price is only good for 24 hours. So you don't want to miss out on that. Now, someone said something really oh, interesting in the chat. Oh, by the way, the, the steel, the yeah. price, never, ever, ever before have I ever on QVC or anywhere else seen uh, it priced this low. So really? definitely grab it. And, well, and actually, this is one of our like sellout wigs on well, 54,000 have sold at our big sister company. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm trying to say. That's like, great. Um, this is a lot. This is like one of our favorites that we Like you're saying over. it's a big deal. Yeah, I'm saying it's grab a big it. deal. I'm saying don't wait. Um, it's but, kind of a big deal. And the other yeah. thing is, if you want to pick it up and pay for it over four months, you can do that as well. Now, I wanted to bring up a point that we had in the chat that I thought was brilliant. Um, Joyce says, maybe I should try a wig before I try coloring my hair. She said, maybe I, you know, I want to reduce the amount of gray showing. Maybe she should try one out in a different color to see what, how she feels about the Well, yeah, the it's, color. A, good, what do it's you think? a good way. So here's what I would yeah. say. I would say um, wigs can definitely keep you away from that four to six week single process that you're chasing that like, you know, scared in the mirror, oh my God, I can't believe my roots have come out moment. Just have your wig ready and you can kind of uh, face people <laughs> that day, yeah. or at least until you can get back to the stylist. It's a great way to, a lot of times, like especially people with dark hair, they try to highlight their hair, and it, it goes either really, really brassy, or it, it hits the floor, it gets damaged. Mm -hmm. So it's really difficult to achieve certain colors. Um, I say do it with a wig and protect your hair, for sure. Um, and then if you are trying a brand new color, overall brand new color, for the first time, yes, but I, that's not the way that I'd like for you to get comfortable with a wig. I'd love for you to be able to try it first in your own natural color and let the wig be the only new thing because otherwise you're gonna have this kind of limited experience and maybe say, oh, I don't like the color and then you know, kind of limit yourself to saying, I'm not a wig person either. So I would say separate those experiences if possible. Well, you know what? We kind of had this experience the first yeah. time I put on a hairdo wig. Um, let's see, I wore one that was my color and really enjoyed it. I wore a nice long one that was kind of similar to a style. We had this experience together, Elise. I'm remembering this experience. Yeah, is it coming back yeah, to Yeah, we now? had this moment together. Yeah, we totally had a moment. <laughs> um, so I put one on that was, you know, roughly my color and a, a style I was really comfortable with. And the braver I got um, through, you know, more shows that I'd done and more opportunities to wear wigs, the more fun it was, all of a sudden I was blonde and then my hair was short and it was a blast. You know, but it took a little while for me to get into that comfort zone. All right, oh, so. This, look, Okay, wait, hold on. Look at what's coming up, Elise. So okay. this is like a big moment right here that we're going to share. Big moment coming we're up. We're going to share with Lauren. Um, look at the before picture of Lauren. Okay. So beautiful blonde hair. You think, okay, like, you know, pretty girl, whatnot, you know, nice blonde hair. And look at this after. Look at how much sort of more, like I, what I love about the framing around the face, I really love the dimension in the color because for blondes, and Laura, tell me if it's true. I mean, do you look at your hair sometimes and go, oh my God, it gets washed out so fast, yes. washed out so fast. 
all the blonde girls are always chasing the dimension. And guess what? You will always be chasing that dimension because it's so difficult to, um, to keep that in the hair. It keeps washing out. So whether in a short wig or a long wig, you're going to get a lot of that dimension and color. And after you wash it, that doesn't change. It stays the same for the life of the wig. Oh, speaking of washing it, can we just wash it like we wash our regular hair? Um, so I'm not recommending like taking it into the shower with you and scrubbing <laughs> in there or anything. Um, Did you I just get say, an image? Because you were giggling like yeah, before. Yeah, no, you of course, because you're like just like our regular hair. Like um, anyway, what I would say is. <laughs>